Hi everybody, uh, my name is Juan Haberman. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Nokia Software. Uh, today we'll be talking a little bit about you know, the status of NFV in the year 2020 and it's uh, quite an exciting time for us uh, here at Nokia Software. We started the NFV journey quite a few years ago and 2019 was, from my perspective at least, the, the, the height of NFV becoming mainstream. Uh, what do I mean by becoming mainstream? Uh, pretty much every single uh, VNF or application, as I will refer to them most of the time, was delivered in a virtualized uh, environment. Uh, they were all orchestrated in one way or another into existence. Uh, nearly everything has some kind of lifecycle management accompanying the application itself, so you can expand the use, etc., etc. But 2020 is going to be even more exciting, and in part, it's because the term NFV would almost become irrelevant. What I mean by that is the move to containers and the expansion of the network function capabilities uh, into public cloud and the many, many different environments that uh, are showing up to support containers. So why is that? Well, we, we spent quite a few years uh, making the virtualized environment more compatible with the telco workloads. But in the same time, we also spent quite a lot of effort in getting the telco workloads more compatible with public cloud and different container environments, uh, Kubernetes being the most uh, uh, leading one. Now, what it means effectively is that as we look at our core applications, network management applications, uh, OSS, BSS, cybersecurity, so on, identity management, and many, many others, uh, they're all now made from a collection of microservices orchestrated into existence uh, on containers. The containers might run on bare metal. They might run inside virtual machines. They might run on bare metal or virtual machines in the local private data center or in different public clouds. The container environment might come from us. You know, we are a very big provider of uh, platforms. Uh, or they can come from third party. We're working very closely with partners to making that happen. At the end of the day, the use cases will spin into existence with the use of your very expected uh, technologies such as Helm charts. They will be assisted by orchestration technologies that will stitch the different services the microservices, the applications, and a collection of applications uh, into one functioning service. At Nokia Software, we believe that we need to take this even a step further. Uh, the step further is to actually connect the technology world with the business world. So if I'm a next generation service provider and I'm looking at what orchestration means to me, especially when I have a bunch of microservices coming from multiple vendors, I have an analytics stack, Obviously, I have some kind of a BSS and an OSS stack. How do I bring them all together and enable slicing in a smart way? What do I mean by a smart way? I mean the ability to provide the customer, the IT manager of the business, the ability to form a slice based on you know, SLA bandwidth uh, perspectives that they have a need for, for a, a limited amount of time or indefinitely, and be able to spin that into existence effectively with full automation and with no humans involved in the, in the picture. Of course, it needs to have a technology side. You need to actually go and create that slice across the entire chain of the network all the way uh, to the main data center. You, have, you need to have a business side and be able to, at the end of the day, generate a bill, right? And be able to charge uh, that business for the use of that particular slice. That entire stack needs to sit in a, sorry for the pun, orchestrated fashion such that you have multi-vendor support. It can touch multiple technologies. It's not just about radio or about optics or about core, but all of them being enabled together. And of course, it needs to have multiple vendors participate such that the container system can take workloads of different types from different vendors.